So for today, we're going to learn how to remove and install wheels. Trying something new applies to every single part of your life. That's why I'm trying out to put the tires, wheels, rims, whatever you want to call them, on the car. I could have just gone to some mechanic and had them put it on. But I'm going to try to learn it with my buddy Chris. Huge shout out. He has a band. He has Twitter, Instagram. Uh, yeah. Let him know what it is. He's part of the Miata game. I'll throw those in the description below for you guys as well. He's a car buddy he's in the cars he's the one that's gonna help me do the suspension that's a different video but it is coming but we're gonna do the wheels today so uh things that we're gonna need for this are just a regular we got a four ton jack i believe it is um six ton jack stands we do we are gonna be using a half inch breaker bar to snap everything loose before we can go in with the impact just a $70 O'Reilly special and just our regular socket set. And then another thing that we're also going to use, I like them for low cars, is just the Rhino ramps, race ramps, whatever you want to call them. They're just extra handy for helping get the car jacked up all nicely because you pull the front up on, jack it up, throw an axle stand underneath there and call it good and then you're pretty well set. But uh, these are the wheels that we're going to be throwing on. And as you can see, these are quite a bit meatier than the stock ones. They're definitely going to be a nicer summer summer compound tire. Fitment. Yeah, get that nice fitment. Then when we throw the coilovers on in a couple of weeks, get that fitment dialed in. Soon. Oh yeah, very soon. It's actually, it's between the 11th and the 17th they come. Ooh. But yeah boys, and then it's just the lug nuts that you'll get with your rims that you're going to need plus all the stuff that he just barely said. You take the wheels off with the jack, you put the new ones on, and you're good to go. So this is a, just a typical low profile, uh, they call it a spline lug nut, because it has actual splines instead of sides of a bolt. But with these ones, if you try to put them inside of these barrels for the wheels, they just don't work. So that's why we use the, the funky looking ones, even though they can be a little more difficult to work with. But yeah, they're just a direct replacement. They're also going to look quite a bit better with the white than the silver rounded regular lug nuts. So. First time driving an FRS BRZ GT86. Uh, you got to pull up over to the left and push up. Right? I'm gonna let him drive it later on with the wheels as well. We're gonna have to move her, boys. The mud's not doing us any favors. The wheels are too big. We can't get them on with the mud, it won't go high enough. And you know how we do. Audio. 
Sorry if it was windy, boys. This is where my boy AJ used to live. Up in that road. Pretty sure he still lives there, but I'm not 100% sure. Alrighty, boys. So, that's the middle school where I used to go. From 4th grade up till 8th grade. And that's why the other day I was talking about my 8th grade graduation. As far as my memory. Going up to Maine Old Orchard. And just going up there with a bunch of buddies and staying at a hotel for a few days and now we're gonna go up to where I used to live and I'll let I'll let Chris and Owen to slow down and I can't remember so that used to be where Mr. our computer guy I can't remember his name that used to be social studies teacher that used to be our gym teacher Mr. Edwards I can't remember what he was the friggin tech uh, guy yeah carpentry used to be my buddy's Kyle's house and this is my house right here Still the same. It's a pretty dope Except spot. the angel. They took my basketball hoop. Now it's a lot, but if you look at it from the back, there's like a whole like another. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's a whole another. Uh, oh yeah, you can see the hill. Lots of skateboarding done in that garage. Lots of bad shit as a kid. Yeah, that used to be where my buddy Ashley, or buddy Ashley, buddy Matt. And her sister Ashley. I actually, I wonder if they're home. They still live here. Yeah, Oaks. No, uh, keep going, keep going. I'll. You can see from the other side. That guy used to have cameras. He did. We found him. That used to be where my buddy Kenny lived for a while. Again, that's oh, Ashley. We before we got our pool, we used to go over to their house for a pool. And then my buddy Kenny ended up moving to that once upon a time was a different house. And it ended up burning down. Now it's a friggin' like farm. Well apparently we can't go this way, boys. What the actual hell? I'm so confused. Right? Okay. Well. This should be where Willie lived. Frickin' parties day after day, day after day, day after day. This is where I used to go to school, boys. Haverhill Middle School. That is where I used to go. I used to walk down here and shoot hoops. It 30, is still there. There's kids playing. $30 million school. Soccer games were played. Street ball games were played. Fun was had on swings and all that stuff. This was the most annoying hill in the entire world learning a manual. Cavalier. The Cavalier, boys, is where I learned to drive a stick shift. So once upon a time, that Walmart wasn't even there. Well, we had to go to this friggin' Butson's overpriced right aid, and is this guy taking the right? Okay, he's taking the same left I'm going. So that right there is elementary school. Kindergarten all the way up to third grade is where I went to school. High school dances used to be had at that restaurant. I'm hoping that it's still a restaurant. Right there they had downstairs. That's where our middle school dances were. Dancing with the ladies. The stoplight never used to be here but we're going to have to stop. Butson's is right down the hill. McDonald's is at the bottom of the hill on the left. Yeah, this is a very main street community. Everything's on this one road and that's about it. Right? We wanted to horse around in the Miata, but my battery's literally... <laughs> Sorry. That, I'm was gonna... all, that was all spinning. No, I'm going to keep it until my battery dies. I don't give a shit, bro. That was all spinning, dude. That was all spinning. In Warning, your battery is too low to use flash. I don't care. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to spin and it still spins over. Right? Probably. No roof. Hold on tight. Oh, she's a little bouncy sometimes. Oh, I thought you were gonna fucking drift that corner. <laughs> so yeah, dude, it's pretty quick for a Miata. It's about as fast as my car. It's actually a little bit faster. It's definitely quicker. 
I was gonna say, it's a little bit quicker. Alrighty boys, I'm holding on tight. <laughs> That's the thing about this car, just keep your foot pinned and you're fine. He doesn't have a speedometer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this car's missing a couple. Yo, of this is fun. This is funner than my car, honestly. To be honest, they're like the best thing you can buy, man. Yeah, see, like my I jump. Moved, I moved a couch with this thing, 15 miles. Oh, wow. Top yeah, see, like, like going from my Civic to the FRS was a big difference, and I felt it like a lot. But if I would have went to this, Holy fucking difference. It's just so damn light. Like, yeah. it makes 85 horsepower at the crank. Yeah, no, the, got the, for all the people watching that have an FRS, BRZ, and uh, 86, the Miata actually is quicker. And the, I, I already know my car is slow, but it's like a Civic. That's the way I see it. The Miata is quicker than a Civic, too, so. Yeah, it's, it's definitely just fun because, like, I mean, it kind of sucks on the highway because at 70 miles an hour, you're at 5,000 RPM. Right. Fifth gear, you know, like. Yeah. Definitely sucks having that short gear ratio, but driving around town, anything like that, it's just. Holy so fucking much, bumps, dude. It's so much more fun. That's the road, boys. It's not my holding skill. Bro, this thing is such a gas hog. Like, I. Dude, that's like almost half a tank. By the time we get back to Plymouth, we're going to have like half a tank of gas gone. I just barely woke up, so apologies if I look like a zombie, but I meant what I said about trying new things with your life. You know, with me going to learn how to put wheels on a car, I understand that there's a lot of car people that are going to be like, Oh, that's super easy to do. Like, everybody knows how to do that. But you got to keep in mind, I just barely started getting into the car stuff about, I want to say, I've had my car since July of last year. So, July last year, 2019, until March 2020. Really, that's the only time period that I've been into the whole car scene. Um, I didn't like get into it when I was a kid, but trying new things with your life doesn't just apply to cars. It applies to everything. You gotta try to challenge yourself, you know, to try new things every single day. It'll make you feel better about yourself. And I know you already feel good about yourself because you are, you're awesome already. And I understand that. But feeling awesome already and feeling even better than that, it's it's just, it helps you, I think you guys understand. But anyways, bro, if you made it to the end of the video, leaving a like is always appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.